we've been working here for the latter part of last year uh, is when this started in earnest. But I think what we can say is that this combination makes a lot of sense. It's really good for consumers. It's going to be good for shareholders. It's going to be good for our teams. And uh, for that reason, we're really excited about it today. Barry, I know you guys are calling this a merger of equals, but let's be clear here. Frontier will have greater control, 51.5 percent. Uh, the share payout is going to the spirit shareholders. When will you name a CEO? Have you guys already discussed that? Headquarters location? And frankly, what's the name of the airline? Well, Bill can speak to this, but um, look, the, a, a committee uh, chaired by our, our chairman, Bill Frankie, will, will actually decide that in due course. But I think what's exciting for both shareholders is that everybody wins through this transaction. Consumers are going to win with a billion dollars in savings. Our shareholders win with 500 million in synergies. And our team members win with 10,000 more direct jobs in the next couple of years, as well as 1,000 more with our business partners. So everyone's going to win, but in, in, we will announce the headquarters brand and, and management team in due course. Bill, I have a question for you as the person who put this together. Surely you've been around the block a time or two, and you know that with every administration, they look at these types of deals uh, slightly differently than previous administrations. And right now, the Biden administration has taken a much more discerning view when it comes to potential mergers. How confident are you that this will get approval, that they will look at this and say, yeah, ultimately, we think this is good for the consumer? Well, you don't want to get in, you don't want to get in front of yourself here, but it strikes me that this is the type of transaction that the administration should, in fact, support. Uh, it's beneficial to the consumer. It's beneficial to the employees, beneficial to the communities that the airlines serve. And at the end of the day, uh, even on combination, these two airlines will control less than 10 percent of the market. Uh, so it's not an overpowering event. And it takes place inside a market where 80 percent of the airline markets are controlled by four other airlines. Uh, American, Delta, United, and Southwest. And so, uh, as a uh, consumer uh, advocate, uh, we believe that this is a transaction that should receive uh, favorable uh, oversight.